Jesus. Say you don't know. You just don't know. What? 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 The Lord. The Lord. The Lord. Let's jump.
message came by way of the Holy Ghost. The question was asked, what do you do with your Holy Ghost? What do you mean with the Holy Ghost? I need him to keep me. I need him to help me along my way. I need him to guide my feet when they want to go astray. I need him. I need the Lord to give me strength out. I need him to give me strength. Oh, help us. Oh, God, help us. I remember what I was doing. You know, when they sing like this thing that has breath, praise the Lord. Sister Nikki testified about that young man being stabbed. But you know what? Because she, we don't think of ourselves very much. We don't think of ourselves very much. Because she lived in the neighborhood now that she just moved to. Because God placed her there. You ought to ask the Lord to come out here. Because the Lord placed her there. The boy got stabbed. Most of them were dying. But she came out of the house. She saw the condition. All she could say was, Who do we call in trouble? Who do we call in trouble? Who do we call? I thought about that. I thought about that. I'm not going to worry your patience. But I love you. I love you. I just want to reiterate something to you. Y'all can sit down. From the book of Luke. From the book of Luke. And it was time for Jesus to do what he needed to do to about his father's business. And there was a lady whose son had died. Her only son. She was a widow. And she was at a funeral. And the people were crying. And she was inquired. Have you ever had an inquiry from Jesus? Yes. Has Jesus ever and have you ever had a requirement from Jesus where Jesus said, what's wrong with my child? What's wrong with my son? You ever had a requirement? I talked to him quite often. And I said, Lord, he said, I told you I'd be with you. Don't worry about nothing. I got you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But here, the son was dead. And Jesus just spoke the word. And that boy got up. And then as we walked on down through there, all that he did, all that he said, there was a centurion, which probably was us. He said, uh, I got a servant, and I'm real fond of him, if you let me paraphrase. And my servant is real sick. He told the servant to go tell about the other one. But you know what that centurion said? I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. Today, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy of all these goodnesses. Oh, please excuse me. I've got to acknowledge my bishop and the ministers. I'm so sorry. Always the Lord. He said, but speak. But speak. But speak. The word. And my servant will be healed. Was he healed? Yes. Lord Jesus, I'm going to go from here to Mr. John the Baptist. We had heard about all these things some of them he was about ready to go. He said, I look, boys, you go. Are you inquire? Is he the one? Or should we look for another? Now, looking at the saints of God today, looking at all of us today, is he the one? In our life, is he the one or should we look for another? Is he the one? So they, they went, they went, and after they went, they saw Jesus said, Listen, look how humble Jesus is. God's son, you go on back and tell John this. <laughs> we sing the song, what he's done for me. It's so amazing. He said, go back. Because John ain't going to see. And you tell John. The blind see. The lame walk. The dead are raised. You go tell him. Tell him what you see. Once that happened, he could rest at ease. But you know what's wonderful part of this message? You don't know John the Baptist. 
was Jesus' cousin. And the Lord looked down on us. We are right. Not the doorkeeper. Not the man on the train. Read about 
about a man that goes into a message. It's found in John chapter 9, read verse 20, 25. He answered and said, hold on. What has the Lord done for you lately that you don't want to give him praise for? You hear what I'm saying? What has he done for you lately that you don't want to give him praise for? And he said, And he said, I think, And he said, Whether he be a sinner, Whether he, this man be a sinner, This is the blind man. He said, Whether he be a sinner, Or no. I know not one thing. I, I know, I just one thing I know.
take it off. Yeah, well, that shoe look too good to be on the track. I gotta take it off. Take it off. You need to get me some running shoes. You need to get me some running shoes. You gotta put on a different robe. You gotta put on a robe of righteousness. You gotta put on some holiness. You gotta put on some sanctification. You gotta put on some grace. You gotta put on some neatness. You gotta put it all on. And then you're ready to run with patience. The race that I am setting before you. Guess what I'm doing? Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Yes. 
power that tests everywhere on every side. To the right and to the left. Pray the Lord. You think the Lord? But we don't have to worry. How many tests out there? How many trials? We got Jesus on our side. Yeah. Under this way. Thank God I'm going by under this way. Under the protection of the Lord. You're going to do it for us. You're going to do it for yourself. Amen. You're going to do it. That's his job to do it. And he wants to do it. Amen. You want to prove yourself to you and your neighbor. And your friend. In your family, when you see the power of God moving in your life, what a wonderful change to have come to me. Woo. I don't do the things that I used to do, and I don't go to places that I used to go. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I'm glad about it. I'm not sad. I'm glad about it today. God has done to me. Oh, hallelujah. We're going to pray. Ask God to bless you. Amen. Open doors for you. That seem to be closed. It's not closed. It just seems to be. God has held back the doors of life. But now you can open the door and up that you can make me blessed. And we're going to pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we come now. Amen. Before you, Lord, the Jordan is standing here between heaven and earth. And Lord, as you look it down, we ask you to bless him right now. Name by name and one by one. Lord, do it right now. Show her your power yes. and make known, Lord, unto me. Show her your strength, yes, Lord, right now. That she can count on you for everything. Yes. Take care of her, Lord. We commit her in your hands. Thank you, Lord. Lord, do it right now. Bless her right now. Bless, Lord. Bless, Lord. Bless Lord. Deliver her. Whatever it is, Lord, deliver her. Lord, be on one side. Lord, we'll say thank you right now. Thank you. And we'll say thank you again. Thank you. We'll say thank you one more time. Thank you, Lord. With your goodness and your kindness and your tender mercy. Lord, we sing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, yes, you right now. Bless the Lord right now. Do it for right now. In your precious name. Jesus. We like to be baptized. Oh, y'all are very good. Oh, thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord. God is good. Amen. And God keeps you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Take me back, Take me back, Lord, to the place where I first see you. Take me back, Take me back, Take me back, Take me back, Take me back,
as you make a great choice and want to be baptized. I want to be baptized in Jesus' name that I may live for you until the day I die. That will be a marriage taking place with the bride of Christ. Be the bride of the Lord. Be the bride of the Lord. Thank you. You don't pay for it. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, touch him right now, Lord. Bless him right now. Show him the way, Lord. Teach him the way. Bless him the way. Move on his body. No mercy. Touch him. We lift the name of the Lord. We are praying to the day we die. Lord, we are praying to the day we die. Yeah. 
place. It didn't have to be at 16 years old. Go to that place. Because we were a little church in the countryside. Just take me back for our first meeting. That's all we need to know. In that little church, it could not have to be a little white church. It could be a little brown church. But take me back. It could have been a house. Old regular house in the country. They have a chimney on it. It's just a pipe coming through the top of the house. For the snow and the rain coming in. When it's rain, the rain come down and out. We had to put buckets. Catch the rain. Oh, hallelujah. But that was a home. The Lord blessed us. Each and every one of them come a family with a lot of children. But you know what? God was so good. He fed us all. He fed us all. You know, the Lord so after us. Mom and Daddy didn't have a whole lot. But that was all right. Praise the Lord. Because it didn't take a whole lot. When you with Jesus. Praise the Lord. He'll keep you if you want to be careful. Oh, hallelujah. He'll save you if you want to be saved. Praise God. And he keep those that want to be saved. No one that you want to be saved, nobody can take it away from you. Amen. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Unless you give it up. Unless you give it up. Even, even the angels of heaven. No devil in hell. Even saving yourself can't stop you from praising the Lord. Amen. He can't take that. Can't take the Holy Ghost from you. When you will feel, you will feel. And you want to keep it? Oh, you can keep it. Praise the Lord. There's many, many saints in the church have been here for a long time have kept the Holy Ghost and still rejoicing. The Holy Ghost is still moving like it was yesterday. Amen. It's not old Holy Ghost, it's the young Holy Ghost. Pray the Lord. It's just the Holy Ghost. Pray the Lord. I don't want the Lord to take the Holy Ghost from me and have the young people testify for me. I want to testify for myself. Because he's been that good to me. I want to praise him for myself. I'm 75 years old. You think I want somebody to praise God for me? No. I will rejoice myself. I want to get off of the seat and praise Him like I have always. I'm jealous of you. I want to praise Him. Oh, you just don't know how jealous I'm in about you. Praise Him. When I say, oh, Lord, I can't get Him like I used to, but I still want to praise Him. If I can't do nothing, I just wave my arms. My mom told us I just couldn't share a word. I just wave my hand. Oh, hallelujah. I'm praising him because I'm looking for the Lord to do something for me. I get up every now and then because I'm looking for God to do something for me. I know he will. I know he will. Oh, yes, he will. I'm going to request that he never had no problem. To enjoy for him. Never had no problem about that. Because I want to praise him. I got to praise him. I want to praise him. Oh, hallelujah. Know that strength in my body. Amen. I'm going to praise him. Yes. I'm going to praise him with what I have. I want to give it all to Jesus. Yes. Oh, he's been so good to me. I can't praise him. I can't rejoice in him. Oh, praise the Lord. What a joy has come over me. May God bless you and have a smile on you. God is good.